Ooh, World of Tank Blizzard's It's a Little Finger. Hey, update 7.6 just came out, and I'll run through the changes. I like to do this for myself, just so I can keep a record of all of the updates that uh, Wargaming puts out. But as far as updates go, this one is a little on the mild side. Not a whole lot to talk about. However, free cam is available for those of us that record on PC. Uh, and Mac. So we'll get into that a little bit later. Some of the tanks that didn't previous have the camo, premium legendary camo available, and now have it available. You can see here 2,550 gold for a tier 10 premium camo. And let's just jump over to the news section. Good way to go ahead and talk about these. So here's the um, talk about the free cam. I will go into that at the end of the video, so it show you all of the commands that you need to know to, to move around um, in this new style on PC and Mac. Uh, here are the tanks that uh, didn't previously have the premium legendary camo available. Again, 1450 for a tier 8, 2500 for the tier 8, I mean tier 10. Um, the TOG, the Jagdpanzer IV, the Yag Panther and Nashhorn and the ARL and the AMX 1390 all got some uh, improvements. And the best way for me to talk about that is to jump on over to Blitz Hanger. 7.6 changes here. So great website and resource for looking at different tanks. AMX 1390 Defender. So I'm thinking this is going to be the Chinese New Year uh, event tank. Um, we first had the IS-3D. Basically, they took an IS-3 and added an auto loader to it. Gave it this uh, metallic looking camo and, uh, you know, the electric looking engine and sounds. Then we had the T28 Defender, which was basically the T28 with another autoloader. And then we had um, the Mark I Defender, which is the British medium tank. So now we get the uh, the French light tank here. I'll be interested to see the difference just because uh, this was already obviously an autoloader. Doesn't look like we have much uh, can't, um, armor on it. Um, 250 spotting range, decent pen at 205, very low damage. Uh, but if this is a, comes out to be the auto loader, you know, you've got your burst damage there. And um, six degrees of gun depression. On the right is the Ox, which is going to be the next battle pass tank. That's typically what they put tier sixes out there. I don't see anything super great about this tank. Uh, we can jump over to uh, Blitz Stars real quick and uh, just go through some of the stats uh, looking at this uh, 1700 damage per minute kind of towards the bottom of the tanks that i've pulled up um, 128 mil of pen is the lowest kind of like the rudolph which just came out so if you played that you know the pen is not great but on this tank the ox you're going to be doing 200 damage versus the 160 so longer reload uh, but more damage Weapon handling at 2.13 and 0.335. Not bad for the amount of damage that you're doing there. 7 degrees of gun depression and 55 kilometers per hour. So looks like it, you know, could be a decent free tank. Battle Pass $5 free tank. Um, moving on, we've got the Kanonen Jagd Panzer. Um, tier 8, you know, we're stepping this up. Um, haven't seen a, a tier eight quite like this um, in the in the German line. So interested to see how this plays. Good view range at 250 for a, a, a TD. Decent pen, uh, very low damage. So uh, it's going to have a pretty quick rate of fire and eight degrees of gun depression. Looks interesting there. And um, Probably in crates, you'll see the object 260 this month uh, in February. Again, crates, uh, you know. Tier 10 looks like a very pike nose, heavy, uh, you know, very much in the, the Soviet style as they do. Um, probably a very inaccurate gun. Um, six degrees of gun depression. So, yeah, very much um, in the line of these Soviet tanks. Now, updated parameters here that I'm assuming that the 
the T5051 will be coming out. Um, again, another tier 10, probably in crates, as that is uh, how Wargaming makes most of their money these days. Um, so they're changing the statistics on it a little bit, making it a little bit better, it looks like. So um, we'll just see how that goes. The AMX 1390 got um, a buff there with the rate of fire and dispersion. So looks to be some nice changes to that tank. I believe it's one of the tanks that I have not aced yet. So I'll get it out here and run it around and, and maybe do a review on that tank. Um, the... The J Panther here at tier 7. This is just for the tier 7 gun. They've increased the pen. And the Yag Panzer 4. Who would have guessed that they would have had to do this after just completely blowing up the, the damage per minute on it? They're having to bring it back down. Uh, this tank was certainly OP and uh, had way too much damage per minute number. So you can see that coming back down, trying to rebalance that tank. The Nashorn, uh, the Tier 7 gun, gets a little bit more pen. The interesting thing here is the TOG 2 is the big change everyone's talking about. 14 to 20 kilometers per hour is pretty significant. And so interested to see how that uh, handles it. Also got a little bit of an armor buff, as we see here. Um, the front uh, upper hull here goes to a little bit darker red, as does around the gun mantlet. So interesting to to see how that plays out and the arl v39 with um, just a little bit more frontal armor especially around that uh, capola all right guys like i said the last thing i wanted to talk about here was the free camera as you can see now at the bottom left of my screen there's a little c button and there's the camera and to the right of that there's a camera with arrows all around it so if we push c we go into the camera mode as you can see I'm stuck here and not moving Q goes up E goes down so Q and E are your up and down and then your typical W A S and D are your forward left back and right and you can see how slow we're going right well to change that hit the shift and a number between one and nine I believe uh, I've been using like six and you can see here now that we are moving much faster here as we can then scroll around and uh, take a look at different places on the map while the battle is going on we can also hit the spacebar and stop it and continue to move around um, interesting thing is i'm not sure yeah it does look like all of the tanks are here um can't remember if this battle the other half the team went heavy or not but i'm just wondering if you not i'm not 100 percent sure if you can see the tanks that aren't spotted on the enemy team or not um the downside here is obviously you don't see hit points um but that can be good for putting in these realistic replays you know so um q and e up and down shift and a number together changes the speed at which you move and you just use the mouse to look left and right and a and w a s and d get you to move around the battlefield um so it's going to be great for those people that put uh, lols in and, and those type of videos because um, you can't really see like you can see I'm in the E100 here and I just shot a tank but it doesn't really show you like from that perspective I was at who I shot at that time so um, be interesting to see how this is being used by other YouTubers and whatnot but uh, something that we've seen in the, the tournaments and, and so forth so those are your commands that's update 7.6 guys and um, hope you have fun out there stay safe get educated not fingered a little finger out